Hey guys, it's Brenda Lee Turner from LeanSecrets.com and today I'm here to talk about how to poop better. I volunteer as tribute to be the one to talk about poop in front of 300,000 people on the internet. Side note, the sports bra is from Victoria's Secret. I know some of you guys might ask, $20? She is killing it, Victoria's Secret. It is so important that you eliminate every day to the feeling of complete evacuation. And I'm here to tell you, if you're not pooping every day to the feeling of complete evacuation, we need to work on that. This video is gonna be a game changer for you. Your life will be better. Your skin will be better. Your fat loss is gonna be so much easier. You're gonna just feel like a million bucks. The whole digestive process starts in your mouth when you're eating your food. So you have to make sure you're chewing your food really well. You have your teeth that help break down the food that you eat, as well as the saliva in your mouth which works in conjunction with the enzymes in your stomach. Don't unhinge your jaw and eat your food like a boa constrictor. That is a habit that I myself have worked on for many years. From your mouth, it, your food goes down your esophagus into your stomach where your stomach has some acids and some enzymes and that just kind of helps break down the food into chyme which then goes down to your small intestine. Your small intestine has villi and the villi help absorb nutrients from your food. From there, it goes to your colon, and from there, you poop it out. So that is the process of digestion in a nutshell when it works properly. And your poop should look a little something like the, this is the Paul Checks How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, by the way. Your poop should be looking like Mr. Poopy Policeman, okay? Let's talk about gastroparesis. Gastroparesis is the delayed emptying of your stomach. And this is a very underdiagnosed problem according to Dr. Robin Chutkan. So gastroparesis or the delayed emptying of your stomach can feel something like a brick sitting in your stomach after you eat, bloating, fatigue, constipation, not feeling like not feeling very well after you eat. There's lots of experts who have found that we can, we can only absorb so many nutrients at one time and that your stomach only has so much acid, your stomach has only so many enzymes and it can't really take on too big of a meal at once. So breaking up your meals into like four or five meals might be beneficial. The next thing for really helping empty the stomach is getting yourself moving just a little bit, like a light walk after a meal. Any kind of movement, gentle movement after you eat is gonna be great for your digestion and it's also gonna help gastroparesis. Another really important thing is don't chug water while you're eating. A good saying to remember is to chew your water and drink your food. So you want your, you want your water to be kind of swish around your mouth and kind of chew on it and then swallow it this is gonna help infuse the water with your enzymes from your saliva. To drink your food means that you're gonna chew it enough that it's almost liquefied and then swallow it. Water is actually really, really important when it comes to digestion. You have to drink tons of water if you want to have healthy bowel movements. That's because when you have the chyme that comes from your stomach or the pulpy stuff after your stomach is done doing its job. The chyme gets sent to your small intestines and then it gets sent to your colon. And by that time, you know, there's like a little thing of chyme. From there, your colon has to use peristalsis to, that's a mus muscular contraction to get the food out of your body. If it's not hydrated enough, it doesn't, if it doesn't have enough water, if it's kind of dried out, the colon has to kind of work really hard on pushing out a really small kind of dried out piece of chyme. If you drink water, that kind of helps expand the chyme and it helps give your colon a break. And that way it doesn't have to really squeeze so much. Another thing that can cause constipation, especially in women, is the fact that our colons actually are complicated and have a couple extra inches on them. Men's colons look kind of like a horseshoe and women's colons kind of resemble a crazy roller coaster. That's because we have a couple extra inches of colon to give room for when we're bearing children. And these extra inches can get tangled, they can get twisted around, they can get gas trapped in them, they can have stool trapped in them, and it can just make the transport of stool 
take a little bit longer. This is so uncomfortable and this is why a lot of women complain about bloating. You don't really hear many men complain about bloating. This is also maybe uh, helps demystify the mystery that I've always had of how do these guys just go to the bathroom and just poop and there's like a long, long line of guys that have just pooped in the bathroom and the women are like, no way, I no, there's no way that I could just poop in a random bathroom. As a woman, if you have this extra bit of colon, it's even more important to remember that you have to keep your meals kind of small-ish and more frequent. Another huge problem when it comes to digestion is stress. So stress causes us to tense our muscles. It tenses our shoulders, we'll tense our hands, we'll tighten our jaw, but we also have these muscles in the digestive tract. So it's really, really, really important if you want to have proper digestion and elimination to set aside at least 10 to 15 minutes every day to just relax. But now let's talk about the specific foods that you should be eating every day. Like I said, you have to drink lots and lots of water. That's gonna help your digestion and elimina elimination so much. But another thing you have to be doing is eating enough fiber. And that means eating some kind of vegetable or fruit at every single meal. The fiber adds volume and bulk to your stool. And if you have just protein, that's not enough bulk for your colon to push against. When you add fruits and vegetables, it gives your colon something substantial. The fiber from that gives it, gives it something substantial to kind of push against so it doesn't cause so much constriction and um, struggle in your colon. So eat vegetables and fruits at every meal, at every opportunity. Now, another thing that you can add in to help give some bulk to your stool is psyllium husk. Psyllium husk is an, a soluble fiber that you add into a little bit of water and you just drink it very briskly. So lots of water, lots of fruits and vegetables, some psyllium husk, also HCL and enzymes. Those are going to help in the stomach process to kind of initially break down some of that food. Another thing that really will help with your digestion is a nice probiotic. I recommend Prescript Assist or VSL number three or the Renew Life that you can get at Whole Foods, the 40, 50 billion strain uh, probiotic or PB8, those are all very solid probiotics that I've tried personally that I really, really like, that I recommend to all of you guys. I have to talk about the Squatty Potty. I recommend everybody that, that watches this gets a Squatty Potty. Essentially, the Squatty Potty puts your colon in the, the correct anatomical position for elimination. If you don't wanna get a Squatty Potty, you could just use some kind of a little bathroom box or anything that's like six to seven inches off of the floor. Let's talk about what you should absolutely avoid if you want to poop better. The first thing is laxatives. So those teas that they sell on Instagram are filled with laxatives. Uh, any kind of laxative that you're using for weight loss or for fat loss or for eliminating constipation is very harsh on your system. It can also interfere with the natural rhythms of your colon, and this can cause a dependency on these laxatives. You don't wanna to have to take a laxative in order to poop every day. It's just not a healthy thing. And if you have to take a laxative every day, something is amiss in your diet or your lifestyle. Next thing you wanna absolutely avoid if you wanna poop better is fast food, processed food, bread, crackers, cookies, bagels, fast food, any kind of junk food, any stereotypical junk food is very unhealthy for your gut health. All right guys, that's gonna just about do it for today's video. If you need any more information on health, fitness, fat loss, go to leansecrets.com. And if you want any information on any of the details of the things I talked about in this video, you can check out my blog, leansecrets.com slash blog. Bye guys.